Many of you know that I've been in the wellness development space for a long time, 12 years and counting, actually a little bit more than that, but that's since I've been certified. But I started in the fitness development and over the years as I expanded my own life and grown as a person, I've moved on into additional components. For example, most recently is life coaching. And the reason for that is because I've learned and understood how powerful this is in terms of someone's development. And in that, there's something powerful because honestly, I don't believe that it's a separate department of your life. It's not a separate section. I feel like development as an individual, as a person, as part of society, as part of the world, is all about your personal growth and happiness. These are different components, sure, but they go hand in hand. Hence why Vida Project has become the company that it is today. But fitness still remains as the foundation because I believe that fitness is the bedrock of your growth and your happiness. And I say that because I personally I've lost my fitness many times. Have you ever been in that space where you feel like nothing is going right, where you're struggling and the last thing you wanna do is spend time worrying about fitness, going to a gym or exercising or any of that. Like who has time for that right now? Have you ever been there or are you there right now? I've been there myself many times. About four years ago, I lost a close and dear friend. Many of you knew her, Arlene. And in that loss, I had experienced a lot of grief, a lot of challenges in my own heart. Because this was someone that I cared about deeply, someone that I used to train, someone that I used to spend a lot of time with, not only from the business aspect, but from the family aspect. She used to hang out with my son 24 seven. We'd take care of him a bunch of times and he loved her. And my wife, this was like her sister. And I loved her very much. After that loss, I was left in peril. I couldn't focus on anything. My fitness was suffering obviously but my business as well was suffering because I had to take a step away from it. And obviously that led directly to my financial situation, which then started suffering dramatically, like out of nowhere. It seemed like everything hit at once. I remember collections companies calling me. I remember the fear of what is my family gonna do? What is my my baby son gonna do? My newborn daughter gonna do if I'm unable to provide for them? That pressure that you feel of responsibility. What is my wife? Can my wife handle this by herself without me? Because like I'm useless right now. And the problem was that she kind of was too. She lost, like I said, her sister. During all of this, I looked at myself, I looked at my situation, I looked at the stories I was playing within my head, and I started to look for hope, some sort of potential where I can, I can come out of, but I couldn't. I felt like I was just drowning, starving. And then I started turning into what I knew, what I had been shown over and over in my life, which was fitness. Fitness was that bedrock. And it was very hard. I was not motivated at the time. I did not want to do that. I needed to make money. I needed to provide for my family. I needed to grieve. I needed this. But fitness seemed to be the right move, just out of instinct. And I began running. And to me, 
that running at first was a horrible experience. I was like, why am I wasting my time? I don't have time for this. I don't have room in my life or energy for this. But as I continued, I pushed through that. I pushed through that discomfort and, and try to see what's on the other side. I started to build myself back up again. And it was it was seamless. It was like I, I wasn't even able to see it at the time. I wasn't able to see the connections. The more I was able to run, the more I was able to do with my day, the more I was able to elevate my mood, the more I was able to become productive, to become proactive and affect change in other aspects of my life. And not only that, but elevate and lift others around me, like my wife who was also suffering and going through a very hard time. All of this because of the fitness. And that's what we don't see. We don't see how fitness actually does this because it doesn't scream it out into us. We don't see how these accomplishments, these little wins, these small wins in our lives from fitness aspect affect us largely dramatically in the big areas of our life. We don't see it because fitness is quiet. This component of the body of connecting is very quiet and, and subtle. But when we reflect back, when we take a moment and we look back from where we've come from, we realize, wow, I've been growing this confidence. I've been standing up straighter. I've been feeling prouder. I haven't even noticed because it's little by little, just like many people don't notice when they lose weight very slowly or they gain weight very slowly. They don't notice these changes because they come incrementally. But when you look back at the journey, you see the power. And that power is within reach for all of us. This is development, this is strength, this is how we can become empowered in our own lives and affect so many other things. Now you layer that, that fitness component that we all have the potential for, that we all have the drive for somewhere deep down inside of us. If we look into that and we work that out, we can start building a platform for the tallest pyramid. And we layer that up in terms of our minds because that fitness starts affecting our mind, starts affecting all the categories in our lives. It starts first affecting our intellect. We're able to learn and be present more because of the fitness. And this is, this is proven by science. When we exercise, our brain becomes more active. It literally lights up and creates new connections of cells and grows cells so that we can remember and learn new things. Other aspects of, of our love, our compassion, our, our social life are all directly affected by this platform. And it's within reach for all of us, it's within reach for you, it's within reach within us. We just need to take the moment and tap into it. If you are willing to tap into that potential, that fire that's within you and light it up with fitness, then you can start building up other aspects of your development from the mind, the body, the career, your parenting, all of these things can be a whole nother step above of what you know is true. Even if they're great for you right now, they can keep climbing up. So I invite you to join me on this journey of development. Whether you're coming to my center or you're doing it on your own, you have the power to grow and become much more than you are today. Like I said, even if you're great today, you can become even greater tomorrow by developing yourself. Start with your fitness and go conquer your life.